The Manchester woman who accused of brutally murder her husband, Constable Damien Blair, during a domestic dispute at their home in May, was this afternoon further remanded. Until October 19, Cassian Blair is facing charge of murder, unauthorized position of firearm, and unauthorized position of ammunition. Constable Blair was fatally shot at, at his home in Somerset, Manchester on May 29 during a domestic dispute with his wife. When the matter was mentioned this afternoon in the home circuit court, was told that the first stick, the evolution was, which was ordered for Blair, is not yet done. However, the judge was informed that arrangements are being made to conduct the evolution on October 2. During the last hearing, Blair attorney, Tamika Harris, had informed the court that she had been receiving treatment at the Mandeville Regional Hospital prior to the murder of her husband, the accused woman who spent 13 days in hospital after the murder was at the time of the incident found a lock inside the house with what appeared to be self-inflict wounds to her wrist. A man and his three years old son are now dead after fire got a house in Portmore, Garden, Waterford, St. Catherine early Wednesday. The boy who is attend Faith Assembly Basic School died during the blaze while his father died in hospital. Sometime later, they have been identified as Sherman Williams, also called Clayman, Clayan, and his son, Clayan Williams. According to the Police Information Arm Cooperative Communication Unit, between 11 p.m. Tuesday and midnight, the fire was seen coming from the house, occupied by the father and the son. An alarm was raised, and the police and the Jamaica Fire Brigade responding. The police said, when cooling down operation were completed, the body of the boy was found in debris. His dad was badly burned in his attempts to rescue the child, succumbed at hospital. Counselor for the Westchester D Division, Rainier Benjamin, in offering condolence to the family members and friends of the father and the son, said that Portmore Garden is in pain at the loss of their lives. It is especially painful to know that the father fought hard to rescue his son and eventually paid with his own life. He said, meanwhile, principal of the Faith Basic School, Rosemary Gooden, said that Cleon was street smart and made an impact at the school within the one month he was there. He is the kind of child who is bold and could have a conversation, she told the news. Gooden recounted once he saw her with a wristwatch and complimented her and then asked her to buy one for him. I remember him say, Miss, I like your watch. Buy me one, she said. When she recalled, Cleon did not like giving up his money when it was time to pay for his lunch, but sometime want a second helping. The principal said that she did not have much conversation with his father outside of about the child well-being. She shared, however, that he would drop his son off and pick him up from, from school most day. Faith Assembly Basic School is putting together a corner at the school where message can be written in memory of Cleon as everyone come to term with his death. Gunman sniff out the life of four people in Riversdale, St. Catherine. In the way hours of Tuesday morning, the family had already in mourning. The police disclosed after the gun attack and home invasion on Tuesday that they were yet to establish a motive. But one of the victims has just lost her post or spouse. In fact, one of them have just arrived in the island Monday and was killed Tuesday morning. Watch as the police share what they know so far about the gun attack that claimed the life of Kerry Ann Higgins. Margaret, 45, a farmer from Crawler District. Dorothy Higgins. Diane Nicola Johnson, 38, a helper from Tom's Hope in Fellowship. 
Portland. And a man only known as Kevin. 